All right, good day everybody. In this video, I want to show to everyone the activity and using the LCD for Arduino in the thinkercard.com. When you say LCD, it is the liquid crystal display that are used to display the output of what you want, okay? In this video, this is the output on how to create the design to simulate scrolling text left to right and vice versa. So in this case, I have used my first name and family name, the first name in the first row and the family name in the second row. And as you have seen in the screen, this is the output of uh, the design that to simulate uh, the scrolling text. So to start with, you will need a three components here, which is the Arduino Uno and the resistor in the LCD. So in here, you must set the components into starters, which is the Arduino Uno, and then you can search Arduino Uno to be used in here. The very common Arduino Uno that we have used is the Arduino Uno R3. So you can use this one, this one. And the resistor, just type in So we have here the resistor, the two resistors that we have used here, and also the LCD. The LCD that we will use is the 16 by 2. Okay. Here. So 16 by 2, it means that we have the 16, 16 in a column, 16 columns, and then two, two rows for that. So to set up Arduino Uno and LCD, let's connect for connect first each other. So first your LCD must be connect your LCD cathode, the negative of your LCD must be connected to your ground of the Arduino. Then your anode will be connected to the voltage and must uh, select resistor so one to connect to disseminate the voltage of Arduino Uno to your to your LCD. So it must be connected to the 5 voltage of the Arduino Uno and that connected also to the power of the LCD. So the second resistor, you must connect the terminal 1 to your contrast and then another to your read and write and also the ground uh, of the terminal to your resistor number 2. Then it must be connected also to the ground of the Arduino Uno. In here, the register select must be connected to any of the pin here in the Arduino. So in my case, I have connected here in pin 12. And then the enable will be connected also to the Arduino Uno pin 11. So pin 4, 5, 6, 7 of your LCD must be connected also to pin 2, 3, 4, 5 of your Arduino. So to get the output of your Arduino on, on using LCD, let's take a look of how the coding is. So here it is. So at first, we must include the crystal, liquid crystal of your LCD in the coding and declare the pins that where it is connected. So your LCD is connected to the pin 12. 12, 11, the 5, 4, 3, and 2 of your Arduino Uno. And then you must set up also the liquid, the LCD begin 16, 20. So 2 is the row and 16 is the column of your LCD. So in here, let's uh, set the cursor into 1. So column 1 and 0 for the row. Okay. So... I just want to have the output of my first name first. So LCD.print, I will make it my first name. Then another one is my family name. You will, we will need to set up 
another cursor here as column one and row one. And for the scrolling text, we must have this code to display the scrolling text to display it or scroll it to the left. And then we have the delay of 150 milliseconds. Then we have here your our next display the scrolling text to the right. And we need to have a waiting time for our loop and then delay it with 100 millisec milliseconds so that it can go back into vice versa. So as you can see here in our output, this is the output of our activity for scrolling text using LCD, Liquid Crystal Display for Arduino. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. That's all. Thank you so much.